Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought. Until now, after decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47.
47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. built a skyscraper in Dubai in the past five years. Oh. 
just wanted to say, that was a wonderful speech, Your Highness. Oh, please. Enough of the formalities. Call me Oma. Oma. Take it easy, sir. Hello, sir. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Just up your alley. Gentrifying Albania. It'll be huge, but I'll have my people contact yours. Good afternoon. This is quite the ceremony. I was thinking, upstairs, as I understand, it's the Royal Highness's private penthouse. It must be quite the view up there. I think you Looking good, man. Looking good. to see a fellow sartorialist out here. I have to say, this is absolutely... Amazing. The building is something else. I am so impressed. Oh, congratulations. You are too kind. Yes, this is my life achievement. I might just retire. Greetings, so sir. This is possibly my last miracle. That means... Sir, I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. Smart move. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. Just papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died. It doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't.
mind, do you? Oh, I really think you are putting on a brave face. You shouldn't be hiding back here. And you should be out there celebrating life. Oh, no, that reminds me. I'm supposed to talk to Richard Voltaire. You know, I'm really frightened of him. His review Hello, of the sir. census exhibition was brutal. But... I'd rather Feeling, be here uh, supporting you. Very vulnerable you today. Really so nice. can you uh, back I off? Have, as long as you know I'm here for you. As I said, it's only if something goes wrong or or that dreadful critic insists on speaking to me now that I'll be kept away from my friend Cornelia Stuyvesant. Everything is going fabulously out there. I really want to say how much I appreciate all you have done for me. <laughs> Without you. I wouldn't be here. You know, not to sound arrogant, you have such a good eye for talent. Lucy, wouldn't it be a good idea if you go out there, you know, meet potential buyers? It's a cool mind. I know you feel alone, but you have to understand you are not. I'll always be here for you. Ooh, look over there. Look, I'll just have the one drink. I'm sure if I'm needed out there, one of the technicians will come and find me. I just... I want to share my condolences concerning your father. I never met him, but I know he loved art. That's really sweet of you, but I'm... Oh, don't be silly. I'm here for you. sir. Just a drink? You don't mind, do you? Oh, I really think you are putting on a brave face. You should be hiding back here. You should be out there celebrating life. But I'd rather be here. Did good today, sir. Thank you, but it's really not necessary. I have... As long as you know, I'm here for you. As I said, it's only if something goes wrong or... or that dreadful Hello, critic Dessa. insists on speaking to me now that I'll be kept away from my friend, Cornelia Stuyvesant. Everything is going fabulously out there. I really want to say how much I appreciate all you have done for me. <laughs> Without you, I wouldn't be here. You know, not to sound arrogant, you have such a good idea.
sorry, okay. man. I think I'll be tired. Just making me feel a little right. uncomfortable now. Besides, I okay. need to check up on our guest. Of course, sir. Still haven't heard from him. But we know he's in the building. Keeping the big man safe, huh? Yeah, nice gig. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. Excuse he might not look like uh, much, but he's done more damage exhibition. to the world than you but could dream. Kind of slow. Maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know. I can try. The sun. It's not as bright as it should be. Do you know why? I'm sorry, I'm just backstage muscle. I don't know anything about the tech stuff. Okay. It doesn't really surprise me. Well, thank you for your help. Have a nice day. Well, same to you, sir. Never have guessed Lucy Phillips' work could achieve this scale. Hmm, impressive. She might be annoying as hell, but she is very talented. Yes, sir. It's magnificent. Magnificent. It really is. Gallery? This exhibit will be closed. Everything has to be perfect. Now get the sun fixed. Oh, it's you again. We are doing our best. That's what you keep saying. Just get it fixed. 
How hard can that be? You still have my number, right? Uh-huh. I still have your number, sir. Good. It better be fixed when I come back. I need some fresh air. Keep your distance, but your eyes open. I want to blend in. Don't worry, sir. I'll keep my distance. Have you managed to find that bottle of 60 room? I'm sorry, sir. We are still looking. But you have a bottle, right? It has to be 60 years old. Of course. The Royal Highness has the best selection in the world. Good. Let me know when you found it. You guys get handpicked. Hello? Any update on my replacement guard? We know he's arrived. I'm sure he's just changing into his uniform, and he'll be here very soon. Good. Remember to check his papers before you call me. I don't want some snot-nosed newbie. I'll be sure to contact you as soon as he turns up. Papers vetted and all. You better.
1987. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. I've got a body on the ground. I'm moving. And I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. Hello? Yeah, I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't... Zana Kazim, a.k.a. the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now what is his business here? without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Say that to Lucy's face. What, what are you talking? talking about? We're going to be having this conversation for months, <laughs> aren't we? Excuse me, but can you please extinguish <coughs> that cigarette? You are blowing <coughs> cancer directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I'm just asking Christy. No, you were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. God, what is your problem? <coughs> you are sick. You have no idea. Stop littering. Daydream. Pretentious. 
Oh, Mr. Kazim, I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hi there, friend. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. been Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. Do you think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's... Good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Greetings, sir. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come.
<laughs> Number 47, Ingram wanted a photo of him eliminated. Now, personally, I don't care if he's just sleeping, but he needs to look dead. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. Upstairs, that is, the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali's private penthouse. Am I correct? I heard rumors he has some guests of some significance. Now, I understand he probably signed an NDA, but I may be able to make up for it with cold cash. I can't help you. Talk to security or contact HR. What happens upstairs is none of my business. Well, I was just curious, but thanks for your time. Mr. Luck, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. I hope it's worth it. Hey, man! Ugh. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I just need to do a quick routine check if you want to get through. Won't take a second, sir. Green light, go ahead, sir. Time no see. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through Welcome here. Welcome back. Get so, out of my face. You have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Petty. Yo, man.
So, do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I do. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is clean and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. I'm not pretending to have all the answers, but people like Phillips shouldn't have to choose between having food or having integrity. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassini, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. No, we have Ingram second. right where I'll we right want back. him. Please make yourself 47, home. you know what to do. What? You, check it out. I don't like this. I'm sorry. Please excuse me for a minute. Yeah, I just remembered something. Please make yourself at home. Have a drink. <laughs> Stop. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Stay back.
stop trespassing it. If I see you here again, I won't be so nice next time. Sir, I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. That's a good boy. No offense, but I hope I don't see you again. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Now nah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me? Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> 